It's the Real Estate Podcast across every state, city and town of Australia. And welcome to another episode of the Real Estate Podcast available on iHeartRadio every morning and on Spotify and Apple and wherever you get your podcasts from. It's a Tuesday morning, the 30th of August for 2022, just two more days now before we hit the 1st of September. And I'm not sure if you caught up on this news yesterday from realestate.com.au. They were reporting about a Gold Coast family who has bought and sold $18 million worth of property in just over three years. Since January 2019, this family bought six homes. They sold three of them and have just listed their fourth property for sale at Burley Hill. They have now sold $18 million of property since 2020 and they say it's been an extraordinary journey for them and has it ever when you consider that they bought their first their first property in January of 2019. I mean, that is just how bonkers (laughs) the current market is. And coming up this morning, we are in Queensland and we're talking about the Sunshine Coast and what is happening in a lovely coastal spot there with an exclusive property for sale. Jordan and Mark are going to be here in just a moment. And if you're celebrating your birthday for today, the third 30th of August. Have a fantastic Tuesday. You share it with Cameron Diaz. She's nearly 50. She's 49 years young today. And turning 40 is Andy Roddick, the American tennis player. And Warren Buffett, he is turning 92 today. And from the history books, if I was to ask you what your favourite Beatles song is, I know what mine is. On this day in 1968, the first record released on Apple label in the UK is the Beatles single Hey Jude. And also on this day in 1963, the telephone hotline between Washington DC and Moscow is established. Sounds all very old fashioned, doesn't it? But that happened on this day. From first home buyers to property investors and everything in between. Every morning on the Real Estate Podcast. It's the main centre forecast with propertybuyer.com.au. All right, coming up in just a moment, we are heading to the Sunshine Coast. But first, let's have a look at your weather around Australia. First, we go to Sydney. Temperature nice and warm, 24 degrees, but expect a possible afternoon shower. In Melbourne, also showers developing and expecting your high of 14. Brisbane expects some showers to increase and your top of 22 degrees, and the only place to be where the sunshine is, is Perth today. Mostly warm and sunny, and your high of 21 degrees. We are just as addicted to property as you are. Every weekday morning from 6.30. It's the Real Estate Podcast across Australia, seven days a week. Well, we know Brisbane, the Gold Coast and the Sunshine Coast have all experienced massive growth over the last two years as people chase the warmer climate with thousands of interstate movers heading for the Queensland subtropical-like conditions. And I guess with the winter in Melbourne and also in Sydney, I wonder how many of you have said to yourself, I don't want to be here for the 20th. 2023 winter and are already eyeing up the shift makes a lot of sense and as you know I've got a real soft spot for the Gold Coast having lived there and I love the Sunshine Coast as well so let's welcome into the podcast this morning Jordan Lund and Mark Uncle from Elite Lifestyle Properties and good morning fellas welcome to the Real Estate Podcast. Good morning, Craig. Thank you for having us. Delighted to be here. Okay, and the sea change has never been more active than over the last two years for the Gold Coast and the Sunshine Coast. What has been happening over the last two to three months in your local market from your perspective? 
Look, Craig, well, um, I'm sitting here looking outside as we speak. It's a beautiful blue sky day, beautiful weather, nice and warm temperature. Look, I can understand why people are flocking to the Sunshine Coast to be here. The market here on the Sunshine Coast is still doing predominantly very, very well. It's a strong market, not just in the but locals typically absolutely loving the area and finally recognising that the Sunshine Coast is the place to be. And what about you, Mark? What are some of your observations? Yeah, the market has been uh, very positive, especially being a lifestyle environment where people want to move. Types of living that we have on this part of the coast, be it ocean, be it beach, there's always people moving around, that's for sure. And the Gold Coast and the Sunshine Coast have so many multi-millionaires and in a lot of ways when dealing with mortgage money, interest rates and inflation for these high net worth individuals, they are just simply not playing in the same sandbox as the rest of us. So it tends to be, I think, business as usual because these types of properties they desire, they don't really have these restrictions on their ability to buy the property, right? Look, that's correct, Craig. Uh, the one thing we've noticed over the past 24 to, to 36 months, mate, people have done very well throughout this last last little period, whether it be business owners, you know, people coming to the Sunshine Coast just to, to upgrade and live a beautiful new lifestyle. The types of buyers that we're dealing with at the moment are typically cash buyers, so they aren't impacted by these interest rate rises. They understand that some of the opportunities they have are once-in-a-lifetime type opportunities and once-in-a-lifetime type properties. And what about you, Mark? What have you noticed? Oh, very similar, Craig. They're so not impacted by what the rates are doing. And so they're very well established in their uh, in their lifestyles. And you know they seem to be moving money around, which is quite interesting too. Yeah, and talking about the money, there's a lot of invisible money around, particularly on the Sunshine Coast, Gold Coast, etc. Many of these uh, individuals keep a low profile, not flashy, and for that reason, I guess it's probably hard to know who might step up to buy one of these mansions when they do come onto the market. Absolutely, mate. You can't um, judge a book by its cover, right? Most of the clients that come through, they're not overly dressed, they're underdressed. Who knows who you're dealing with? Uh, You've just always got to make sure that you treat everyone the same and give everyone a fair opportunity to purchase. At the end of the day, there are some, I guess, very astute business owners here on the Sunshine Coast, but they do keep quite a low profile. And talking of exclusivity, I noticed that you've brought to market an award-winning property. This looks like a bit of a stunner, a waterfront haven. It's got the spot to park your boat right outside your window to admire. Uh, tell us a little bit about this property, uh, Jordan. Uh, in my opinion, mate, it's a it's it's an icon here on the Sunshine Coast. You can sit over at the wharf in Malula Bar, looking across the river, and see this beautiful uh, architecturally designed home. It features on almost every news article because it is uh, such great, grand architecture and it's situated in one of the most uh, prestigious parts of the Sunshine Coast, Minyama Island. It's one of 12 north-facing residences. There's only 22 properties on the island itself. Typically, when listing properties such as this, we get interest from all over the world, but of recent, it has been locals jumping at the opportunity to purchase something of this calibre. Yeah, and as you say, 22 of these properties are on the island, which makes them all the more exclusive. And you've painted this picture of me wanting to go boating now, which I I can't do, but I'll run with the impression in my mind. And if you ever needed more of a metric for just how well the locals have done in this current property cycle, what you just said about normally it's the international buyers that scoop up these types of exclusive properties but now it seems the worm has turned and it's the locals themselves who want to get in on the action and they want that lifestyle and I guess Mark the harbour and the access to open water also appeals. A lot of these guys are into their sailing or power boating and with the deep ocean access and the Lullaby Harbour being one of the more northern ports of Brisbane, it's just a huge attraction for these guys to have their boats at the front. These are just sort of great attractions for these type of buyers who want a casual lifestyle but also enjoy all the, uh, the benefits with it.
All right, so we'll leave it there. Thank you, Jordan and Mark, for coming on to the Real Estate Podcast this morning. It was an absolute pleasure. Uh, Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you, Craig. An absolute pleasure, mate. Uh, Thank you. We connect you to the best real estate information across Australia. The Real Estate Podcast. 